Now we want you to make the leap mentally. Now, there's a couple things I want you to pay attention to in order to make that leap mentally. The first thing I want you to do is you want to set some goals. And the goals that you want to set, I want both short-term goals and long-term goals. What are the things that you want to try to achieve? How are you going to organize your practice time? What are the things that, that you think that you need to work on? What are the things that you think, much the same way as Brooks needs to work on this wedge play, he's going to address that. He's obviously going to make the leap doing that. I want you to make sure that you are doing that so that you know the direction that you want to go with your game, and that's orchestrated by what you tell yourself that you need to practice. Those are the goals that you're going to set. Second thing is your self-talk. So many of us go out on the golf course, and we're telling ourselves negative things, and then when we stand over the shot, we hit a shot, and a bad shot comes out, and when that comes out, we start saying, well, I, 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 I knew that was going to happen. Well, of course that's going to happen because you're telling yourself bad stuff. If you get to where you have a don't hit this left or don't hit this right or don't leave this short, don't hit the putt. I say it all the time. If don't, then don't. Don't let yourself hit a shot with a negative thought in your mind. You can put positive thoughts in your mind. Maybe you need to visualize different things, okay? The third thing that I want you to do to make that mental leap is we have to practice with consequence. And what I mean by that is this. We stand up here on the, on, on the range. So many of us have a pile of balls that are sitting right over here and we just slug these. We remember the good ones that we hit and we think we're on fire. What I want you to do is I want you to every once in a while, you're gonna take a shot with consequence. And the consequence is gonna be, okay, if I don't hit this in the fairway, I'm gonna give everybody back here a dollar. Now, everybody back here, there's probably seven people. Some are looking for $2. Jay's always looking for $2. So I'm gonna put some pressure on myself here. I've gotta get this into the fairway. $10 is hanging in the balance. Okay, so now what I didn't tell everybody else is since I'm in the fairway, it's time for you to give me money. Jay, how about digging deep for me, brother? <laughs>